You remember, of course, that major randomized trials have demonstrated that non-smokers experience less or no benefit from clopidogrel treatment compared with smokers, the so-called smoker's paradox. Now in Jack, researchers report on the effect of smoking on the pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics of clopidogrel and prasugrel therapy in the appropriately named Paradox trial. Paradox was a randomized crossover study of non-smokers and smokers with stable coronary disease on aspirin therapy. Patients were treated with clopidogrel or prasugrel for 10 days and crossed over after a 14-day washout. Pharmacodynamics were assessed by the Verify Now and vasodilator stimulated phosphoprotein phosphorylation. Clopidogrel and prasugrel metabolic levels, CYP1A2 activity and CYP2C19 genotype and safety were also determined. What did the researchers find? During clopidogrel therapy in non-smokers, inhibition of platelet aggregation trended lower than in smokers, but importantly, platelet inhibition was significantly less in clopidogrel-treated smokers than prasugrel-treated smokers. During clopidogrel therapy, calculated inhibition of platelet activity was lower and platelet reactivity was higher in non-smokers than smokers. In contrast, greater antiplatelet effects were present after prasugrel treatment, irrespective of smoking status. So here's the bottom line of the paradox study. Paradox supports the smoker's paradox. There are lower clopidogrel active metabolites and pharmacodynamic effects of clopidogrel in non-smokers compared to smokers. Prasugrel, however, was associated with more active metabolites and pharmacodynamic effects than clopidogrel regardless of smoking status. The poor antiplatelet response in non-smokers treated with clopidogrel may provide an explanation for the smoker's paradox. I doubt that any of us think it's a good idea to ask our patients to begin smoking to enhance the antiplatelet effect of clopidogrel, but it does raise the issue of whether prasugrel might be a better therapy for non-smokers. I'm Peter Block, and this is a CardiSource Park Minute.